Om Swastiastu. Welcome to Bali. And we are SMK Negeri Tiga dan Pasar. Good morning, everyone. We do hope all of you are in a great condition. In this great occasion, we would like to inform all of you about one of the famous historical tourist destinations in Bali. Do you guys know what it is? Before we continue, let me introduce ourselves. My name is Ana Agong Takama Putra and my friend. My name is Nima Demasya Febina Mahati and my name is Nika Demasya Sayati. And now, let's continue about this type of tourist destination in Bali. Bajar Fandi Monument is the most historical monument in Bali. This monument stands majestically in the middle of the Pasar City, in field renowned and surrounded by many government offices. This monument was built in 1987 and was completed in 2001. After three years after it was completed in 2004, this monument officially opened. Then how to arrive to Bajar Sani Monument? From Murah Rai Airport to Bajar Sani Monument takes about 25 minutes as far as 15.4 km by a grab or taxi. You can also rent a car plus a driver if you don't want to spend too much money. The cost of entering Bajar Sani Monument is quite affordable. For adults, about 25,000 rupiah. For children, about 2,000 rupiah and for junior high school to college need to pay 5,000 rupiah. After you got a ticket, you must be so curious to go inside, right? I will explain inside of the monument here. In Bajar Sandi Monument, there is some cool miniatures that explain the history of Bali, such as the war back then, the legendary spots, and also the humans of Balinese that evolved. Besides that, uh, it has 17 gates, 8 pillars, and the height of this monument is 45 meters, which means to Indonesian Independence Day at 17 August of 1945. Not only looking around and exploring this area, you can also take some pictures here. Pictures with a Balinese miniature with a gorgeous 45 meters monument. They also got Illusion Art Museum here. You obviously check it out, of course. Not only looking around and exploring, that must be so boring, right? You can also jog and run around the field. You can play basketball too, they have public basketball court here. And volleyball too, of course. Well, after my friends explain about what can you do and see at Bajar Sandi, now I will explain about what can you buy at Bajar Sandi. When you want to buy something in Bajar Sandi, you should visit on a Sunday or a holiday because on that day, the cars or motorbikes are prohibited from crossing their non-field area. Or you could call it a car-free day. That day is used by tourists both from Bali and outside Bali to enjoy morning sport and the freshness of the air. At around Bajar Sandi, we can buy souvenirs such as keychains, bracelet, and necklace craft, and much more. For food, we have local Balinese food, which is Balinese pork satay, spring rolls, lak lak, which is a typical Balinese snack made of glutinous rice cooked in traditional place. And lastly, we have Balinese lawar, which is meat and vegetable that are chopped into small pieces and then mixed together. And also, we have Indonesian food around Bajar Sandi such as meatballs, fried rice, snack, and others. For drinks, we have coconut ice, orange juice, and sugar cane. After visiting Bandra Sani Monument, you must be tired. But don't worry, you can stay at hotel that located around the Bandra Sani Monument. But you can also stay at Sunur Area Hotel, such as Bali Beach Hotel, Santrian Hotel, and many other hotels. That's all from us. Thank you for your attention. Stay safe and healthy and goodbye. goodbye.